Hey, Sean, Sports Talk Bears, like and subscribe if you will. You know, I've been trying to focus this away from the quarterback discussion a bit, and I presently, I don't think we're firing Coach Flues. With that being said, I also don't want to just chase rumor mill stories everywhere. You can get that from anywhere. You're not going to get it from me. I think a move only happens at head coach if there's a can't-miss candidate. If that candidate's available and they know they're available, they won't just fire him blindly and hope a good choice is available. That's not how they're going to operate. Jim Harbaugh, he comes up a ton. He's pretty fantastic, but is he our potential savior? Is he it? I'll talk about it because his candidacy for head coach here is fully real. So let's chop it up. I came across a great story on BleacherNation.com. Check it out. Detailing why he may not be coming to Chicago, even if it's available. It's been reported and spun all over that all the Bears have to do is offer the job. And Harbaugh is like, sure, I'll be right there. <laughs> That's likely not the case. First. Let's check out the story. First, other teams are calling. The Raiders were linked as a suitor and were on his short list to return to the pros. The Chargers, they're a big draw for him as well. They're on his list. But now, now they might be fire sailing and not fully attractive, but in short, there's competition. It is not a lock. Let's take a second and listen to what Jordan Schultz talked through on the Colin Hurd show about this possibility really recently. It's within the last uh, day or two. Let me get to it here. Here we go. Jim Harbaugh, there's been various reports about him and the Bears. Mm -hmm. What do you hear on Harbaugh in this coaching cycle? So the reason I'll say the Bears will not happen definitively is because when Harbaugh was at Michigan, Kevin Warren was the Big Ten commissioner. They don't like each other. In fact, you could say they despise one another based on the comments in the media. So Kevin Warren, who's the president of the Bears, is not going to bring in Jim Harbaugh. Now, I'm not saying Harbaugh wouldn't go back to the NFL. If you were to bring a, a national championship to Michigan, they haven't had one since 97 with Lloyd Carr. It's hard to believe when you think about Jim Beckler. If he were to bring a national title, or even if he doesn't, the success he's had at Michigan restoring that program and the money that would potentially come in the NFL, it is plausible. Also, he was suspended for three games this year. He could be suspended again next season by the NCAA. Michigan would love to keep him on essentially a lifetime deal, give him tremendous unprecedented money. It wouldn't surprise me at all if Jim Harbaugh was back in the NFL because there's going to be interest. We already saw it with the Vikings a couple years ago. It will not be with Chicago Bears. All right. Kevin Warren. If you've forgotten, he was the Big Ten president before taking this job with the Bears and saying that he was at odds with Harbaugh, <laughs> that's putting it mildly. I think it could be repaired, but this is yet another reason. A reunion here, it's not a slam dunk. An encouragement? The same thing could be said for him and Justin Fields. They had a rough ride relationally as well, but it was talked through and repaired during Warren's introductory presser in January, if you remember. It looks like Warren. It looks like he's a guy that doesn't hold grudges. It looks like he can mend relationships. You got to think him and Harbaugh can hug it out if needed. Bonus points to you guys if you get the entourage reference. I'm going to move on. I don't think the Harbaugh to Bears is fully rumor. If it was, I wouldn't cover it. Re the reports are real, but the reality Harbaugh will likely be offered a huge extension by U of M. There's also things working against that as well. Today, Michigan, they're given yet another notice by the NCAA of allegations for recruiting violations. There's a new story covering it on ESPN. Go check it out for details. It's a fantastic story. Michigan gave itself self-imposed penalties, if you remember, including Harbaugh taking the three self-imposed suspension games to begin the year. Now, <laughs> It looks like the NCAA isn't letting it go. They're bringing it up again. They're sending out another notice. It's like they're doing everything they possibly can to just force him back into the pros. I think he'll likely be available for the right job. More food for thought. There's a matter of the amount of control Harbaugh would demand of the team he becomes head coach of. That's a huge thing. He also, he has a history of difficulty with authority. We know that from not only ownership and general management, but also kind of, it sounds like everyone in the building. Let's check this out. 
This is from a story on NBC Sports. Former 49ers left tackle Joe Staley talked about the environment there. And here's a quote back when he was coach of 49ers. Obviously, his personality rubs people the wrong way. He's hard to get along with consistently. If you're a Harbaugh guy, you're in his camp. And if you're not, you're very against him. That was building over the last two years prior to that. Just looking back on that era of 49ers football, I had never seen so many conversations with ownership, with general management, with head coaches about stuff that didn't apply to football. It was just, it was just like, why am I talking about this? Keep it about football. That was the situation we were in. And that's from Joe Staley. I don't see that flying at Hallis Hall, to be honest. Not with Warren, who's had the previously contentious relationship with him, and also the tight hold Poles has on personnel decisions. I mean, he's shown that he's he might be a genius. I think that's very clear. If you look at Harbaugh taking the job, I think he'd likely ask for full personnel and football operations control. Uh, I think that's not happening with the Bears, though. You guys know that. Now, San Diego? I think they'd welcome that. I think <laughs> they're so poorly run right now. I think they'd actually need him to do that. So they would offer him a contract saying, yes, please run our team. I think they'd welcome that. It might be exactly the reason. It might be the reason why we won't see him on the Bears sidelines. It's because he's going to offer and want so much control over the organization. And I think the people in the power structure here at Hallis Hall I don't think they're going to allow it. I think that is going to be a deal breaker. What do you think, guys? Interesting, right? Let me know what you think or what you've uncovered yourselves. I also, I've been hearing about another coach that might come available if this job opens up. I'll be covering that soon. Like and subscribe, my friends. And bear down. You guys have been fantastic. This is a lot of fun to do. See ya.